Hey, hey guys, this is MC here representing Web3 TV and today is Web3 Wednesday and I found a random person and the funny thing is he actually met, met up with me last year at a, a Monero meetup, which is kind of interesting. So I have to talk to this guy. So you know what? I would love for you to introduce yourself to the audience. What's your name? Where you come from? What do you do? And what's your favorite ice cream? Sure. So, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. My name is John. I come from Switzerland. I came to Dubai back in November for a couple of weeks just to, you know, explore. This is where we briefly met. And now I'm back uh, and I actually plan to be here, expand my, my project. And my project is a crypto payment gateway uh, with the characteristic that it is non-custodial. So we never touch the money, right? Your coins, uh, your wallets, your coins, we never touch it. And uh, what was the last one? Ice cream? It's got to be Stracciatella. I can't even spell that name. <laughs> Me, I, I don't think I can spell it either, but this is my favorite though. But I'm sure it's delicious, right? It is, it is. But anyways, uh, it's interesting you're working on a non-custodial uh, payment gateway. But uh, why does non-custodial matter to you? Uh, so there are a couple of reasons. Uh, I guess the first reason it's ideological, right? Like I like the idea of say you and I transact. I don't see why we should have a third party, you know, like messing up with us, right? There's really no reason. That's the number one reason. And the second reason is usually when you, the more layers you add, the more complexity, the more fees, the more uh, risk as well. And sometimes they also hold your money, right? So if you and I transact, it's instant settlement. So for these reasons. Also, so basically you're trying to make uh, crypto payments faster, easier and reliable. And, and really bring it to the masses and also adding uh, some safety, right? So typically, uh, you know, if you and I were to transact, it's really easy. You give me your address and then I give you the amount of crypto that you request, right? However, uh, what we do is we really make sure that the amount, we don't have to think about the amount, right? So QR code, you scan the QR code and everything has been done for you. And then we add some checks. So we, ha we make sure that the address is not dirty. It's really important for you as a business to make sure that the address is clean, right? And then uh, the second thing is there are laws in certain countries. Uh, in the UAE, I think it's called the travel law. And beyond a certain amount of money, you have to go through a, a KYC, right? So automatically, if the amount is beyond a certain threshold, we'll redirect you to the KYC. You go through the KYC and, and then, you know, like we just make sure that you're compliant. So as a business, you don't have to worry about anything really. Oh, no, that's beautiful. You know, first of all, thank you for explaining the travel rule thing. That's really important. Uh, I'm, thank you so much. I, I, I think uh, not many people talk about it, so I really appreciate that. But hey, uh, before you go, just one last question. Uh, what does Web3 mean to you personally? Web3 Web for me is uh, decentralization. So uh, Web2 was like going from something that's static to something that's dynamic, but very centralized by, by definition. And uh, Web3 is decentralized. Hey, there, there you have it, folks. Uh, hey, thank you so much for joining us here at Web3 TV. So, hey, folks, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.